Took these ribs out of the oven. They're looking pretty uh, fully cooked. But we're gonna add a little treat to them, you two. The oven is still turned on to 350. We have these cheese, this bacon and horseradish cheese. And these are pork ribs that have been uh, fried up in two different kinds of beer and some whiskey and yeah, these are looking and smelling pretty fucking dank. Now the coupe de resistance for these ribs is going to be adding some melted cheese. Now these ribs are boneless. So you're not going to worry about picking it off the bone, which makes it a little easier to eat. And the ribs are supposed to be falling off the bone delicious anyways. So making them boneless just uh, skips you a step. But I, at the same time, I totally get the urge to want to eat it off the bone. I don't claim to be the world's greatest chef or an expert, but I, uh, I've been cooking ribs for a hot minute, you know, got my own technique down, and, uh, you know me on YouTube, YouTube, if it's like, oh god, this food sucks, you know, then I'm not afraid to fucking say it, they're like, well, what could I have done differently, and then, then I reevaluate the situation. Be like, well, that's just how it goes. So I'm gonna take some of these uh, cheesies and stick them on top of our ribs. This is a uh, bacon, horseradish, <coughs> cheese. So I want to take a knife. I want to cut the cheese. Huh? <laughs> he said, "Cut the cheese." You fucking bastards. Okay. Eh, <laughs> freaking sweet Lois. We're making ribs. I took these out of the oven. A minute ago, like a hot minute ago, let them cool off. Oh, we add some of this uh, melted cheese action. So I'm taking, oh, I'm taking the cheese when I cut it into uh, slices. And this, uh, this cheese with the uh, horseradish and bacon is pretty decent. Can't say I'm complaining about it. It's really good cheese, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make sure, like, every rib gets at least two little cubes of it. I saw this was an option on ordering cheese, and I thought to myself, yes, please. Oh. See, now that's a little cube that want to go on there. Well, that's just too damn bad. You're going to go on there and you're going to like it. That's just too damn bad. And that's enough for each little rib piece to have, like, a little cheese on top. That's looking beautiful, ready to pop.
Did not need the other one, so that's good. Put this back in the fridge. Mmm. This one's for this cheese is fucking delicious. Mmm. <clears throat> Horseradish cheese with bacon. I love horseradish and I love bacon. So this is just this, this is just the perfect little combo. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna put these back in the oven so we can melt the cheese. On top of our ribs, I'm gonna squish that cheese down on top of our boneless ribs, barbecue ribs. Hmm. We're about to see how it do. Now I'm hoping the cheese will stay on the ribs and like melt on top. Make that shit pop. I'm gonna throw it in the oven and hope for the best. That's how it is with my cooking videos anymore. I got it on 350. I see that truck coming off. Put your camera down. Gently put it in there. Now we're gonna have some boneless cheesy ribs. Now I'm gonna be watching it like a hawk, so that way I don't overcook it and the cheese will melt on top of these boneless barbecue ribs. So I guess essentially you're replacing the bone with cheese. I mean, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. It's smelling good. We're about to find out, I guess. Voodoo Ranger time. Yeah. 